Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from Aaron Buckton, and happy Earth Day! Woohoo! So as you can see, I'm outside right now on, um, our deck. Um, there's a tree in the background there. Brandon is not with me because she's inside right now. Um, and also, and that was also, uh, my door over there closing. Um, and anyway, and, um, also she's gonna go to Walmart with mom. But anyways, um, so yay Earth Day! Um, and you got, um, I'm not wearing green either. I'm just wearing blue, but I suppose blue could look a bit like the ocean, you know, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, um, nice blue sky be behind me. Um, anyways, um, as you know, the whole planet's heating up, and that's all because of us humans. Um, and that's also, also all because of fossil fuels, like oil and gas, like all that. Um, and it is really, really bad for the planet. Experts say that by 2050, we'll, we might run out of fossil fuels and, and, like, the world, the air will be really badly polluted at that point. And who knows, maybe the wor world might even end at that point. And that's less than 30 years away. It's only 28 years away out of this recording in 2022. That's really, really bad. And pretty scary to think about, too. So, this, like, affects you, this affects me, it affects, like, all the animals, it affects every living thing on this planet. So, um, there are some, a couple, of course, you can help, like, um, I know a lot of, like, car makers are, like, planning, are planning to be, like, carbon neutral by, like, 2030, 2035, um, like, all car, car automakers, and, um, that's good. I mean, a lot of them are moving to electric, of course. Um, electrification is, like, the hot topic right now. Electrification's been the hot topic for the past couple of years. Um, electrification is good, because, of course, you don't have a tailpipe like you do in most cars. Um, despite the electrification, of course, unfortunately, most cars are still gas. Um, but, um, but it does help the environment a little bit, though, because there's no tailpipe, obviously. But it still isn't the healthiest thing for the environment, though, because um, electricity uses fossil fuels. So, I mean, honestly, I like hydrogen. Hydrogen's kind of a space age technology right now. I know Toyota. I know Toyota's really getting into it. I know Honda and Hyundai have tried it too. Um, another type of car there is is hybrids or plug-in hybrids. Hybrid basically is, um, hybrid basically is, um, is basically, um, a car that is kind of like a mix of ga gas and electric, like at low speed, you can just loaf around on electric alone and it'll switch to gas. Same thing with plug-in hybrid, so the thing with plug-in hybrid, though, you get to, you get to plug it in, kind of like an electric car, and then with a hybrid, um, you fill it up at the gas pump. Um, plug-in hybrids also, again, have an engine, um, that can also fill up at the gas pump, so, yeah, and those are healthy for the environment, too, again, they're not the healthiest, but they are healthier, too, as well, and a lot of cars have gotten really fuel efficient, um, I've heard by 2026, like, um, President Biden wants, wants, like, a lot of car, cars sold to, to get, like, an average of 49 miles per gallon, or even higher, which is good, I mean, I'm in support of that, because it'll help the environment, and just, I mean, a lot of cars are really fuel efficient, so it's good that we're going to, we're going to try and make them even more fuel efficient, you know? And I mean, a lot of people buy, like, electric vehicles and stuff to try and, like, save some money and stuff, but still, I mean, it's, it's good that we're trying to make vehicles and stuff more efficient. It's just, um, that, um, it's good that we're trying to make them more fuel efficient and stuff. It's just, um, Electrification still isn't the healthiest option. It is healthier, but still isn't the healthiest. Hydrogen is really healthy. It's just a thing of hydrogen, though, is that we might have more rain, which won't necessarily be a bad thing. It's just you don't you don't want it to the point where like there's a bunch of floods and stuff. You don't want that either. Um, but hydrogen's good, though. I mean, it's again space age technology is only sold in California right now. Maybe Oregon, but nah, mainly California is only there's only about like. 15 stations nationwide, from what I've heard. Um, I know Toyota's really starting to get into hydrogen. Again, H Hyundai and Honda are, too. Um, and speaking of hybrids, um, I know Hyundai, Ford, and, of course, Toyota have been doing... Uh, I, I know Hyundai is really starting to get into hybrids with a lot of the vehicles 
they've been doing. And Ford's been getting in the Ford's been getting into hybrids for quite some time now. Of course, Toyota has because, you know, Toyota's always associated with hybrids. But, yeah. Um, I know Honda's starting to get into, has been getting into hybrids, too, a little bit. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, it's good that there's these vehicle options just to help the environment. A lot, again, a lot of people use them for saving money. And saving money is good, too. It's just I also think saving the environment's pretty important, too, if not even more important because, again, it affects every living thing on this planet. Um, I also want to talk about, like, um, like, um, electricity in your house. Like, try to use less electricity, um, and stuff like that. I also know that a lot of, um, homeowners and, like, public places, they're converting from gas. Um, what I have at my house is oil, but my house was built in the 40s. Um, <laughs> my house is, like, almost an 80-year-old house. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, and, because I heard that, like, a lot of people, like, using gas, and, of course, gas ain't the healthiest option. And, of course, you got electric, and electric's healthier, but still, again, still not the healthiest. Um, I know, I do see a lot of homes with solar panels. Just solar panels can be kind of expensive. Um, so, sadly. Um, we would get them for, my, for our house, but they're kind of expensive, sadly. So, and another thing is just overpopulation in general. Like, we tend, like, to have, like, a lot of, like... We kind of keep on building things. We keep on having, like, new condos, new luxury condos. They pay, pay like, like almost a million dollars. Well, not a million dollars. Well, not about a million dollars, exactly. But, like, you pay, like, a lot of money for them. <laughs> and, like, it's a tiny condo. It's like, stop building those. Because, first, I just don't like tiny condos that are that cost a lot of money. And, second of all, just in general, like, like you're just you're taking out another portion of land. You know? Like, I think we already have enough. And, like, they're chopping down trees and stuff for, for this, because it's just overpopulation and overbuilding and stuff. It's, like, some of this some of this extra building, I don't think, is really all that necessary. Actually, I think we need to plant more trees and stuff. And I heard that people are actually cutting down, like, the Amazon rainforest. That's a big problem. Like, that's really not good. Like, because Amazon rainforest, like... That's, um, like, of course, that's, like, one of the biggest rainforests out there, um, and, uh, like, that's the, like, that's really not good. Like, you don't want that. I mean, I heard they're trying to fill in, like, the gaps, but still, it's, like, and for what? <laughs> like, I know, I know people want to try to build more homes and stuff for other people. It's just, like, we gotta plant more trees, too, you know? We can't, like, we, you can't, you can't be cutting down the Amazon rainforest. You can't be doing that. Because that, that's not okay. That is totally not okay. And also, these poor animals don't anywhere to go, you know? They don't anywhere to go. And that's really not good. But again, um, I, so, um, trying to find my words here. <laughs> um, ignore the dogs barking in the background. I have a lot of dogs where I live. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so, there are ways, again, you can help, like, I mean, just as simple as just picking up some litter off the ground is helpful, because a lot of people are really lazy, and they, they just litter, or they dump their stuff on the ground, it's like, really, like, no, like, put that in a trash can, I mean, I know, of course, they do have dumps and stuff, too, and dumps aren't great either, because, of course, you're just, you're just dumping all that waste. And, of course, like, into the ocean. And, of course, a lot of it goes to the ocean or onto beaches. Because you see a lot, pe cause you see a lot of people on beaches. Like, they're just throwing all their garbage on the beach. It's like, clean up after yourself. Just clean up after yourself. It's like, I'm getting so sick of these people just being so lazy. And just throwing all their garbage on the ground and stuff. It's, like, it's ridiculous. It's like, why? Why are you throwing all this stuff on the ground? It's like, pick up after yourself, you know? Because it's going to be, because what if some animal comes along, because I've heard, because, I mean, like, some animals get tangled in this, or they, and, like, the plastic and stuff, I mean, plastic especially is really bad, they get tangled in it, or sometimes they swallow it and they choke, so, it just, you gotta feel bad for these poor animals, you know, you gotta feel really bad for them, so, yeah, but, but, just, just as simple as just picking up some litter off the ground, like, that will make a difference. Um, you know? 
But yeah, I mean, we really do need to start helping our environment, you know? Like, a lot of people should be concerned about this, just a lot of people aren't. And it's just so sad, because people are just so lazy, and you're just throwing all their stuff on, on the ground, and they're like, yeah, this won't happen to me. Like, no. The world, it just keeps on warming up. Keeps on warming up. I mean, if you look at, um, like, I mean, there's like, if you look, look up, like, in the North Pole or down in Antarctica, like, they're, like, all the snow is melting off the mountains, and, like, there's less ice for, like, the poor penguins and the polar bears. I mean, come on, penguins and polar bears. I mean, they're adorable. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, the penguins and polar bears are awesome. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, just really got to start helping the environment, and... I mean, of course, like, if you have to use your car, use your car, but just try, just try, try, um, to, like, just try, try to, you, just try to, like, not use it, like, when it's not really that necessary. Like, my, po my, po like, um, I mean, of course, if you, when you gotta use it, you gotta use it, but, like, you know, I mean, if you can just go, like, walk a block, like, or you can even just take a bike or something. I mean, if you can just walk a block down the street, you know. I mean, if something's only, like, a block down the street, just walk, you know? So, yeah, um, <laughs> this video's been going on for almost 12 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, again, there's several ways you can help. I mean, even just picking off some litter off the ground, that can help, you know? So, just try to help the environment, people, because really, um, it, we really do need to start helping the environment. Um, again, I am a. I will also want to come back to the solar panel talk, topic for a second too. Um, I think solar power is really good. Like, and when like the sun, sun isn't shining down on the solar panels, it can just kind of like there could be like a battery that ha that houses like all that, all the charge it got from the sun and can just kind of charge up, you know. Um, and, and like it's kind of charging while like the sun is beaming down on it, and then when the sun's not out or when it's like you know nighttime, it can just kind of like used the power got from the sun, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. So, again, my house doesn't have solar panels because they're really expensive. Um, I do see how the solar panels, though. Again, they're real... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're real... But they're really expensive, though. Um, and... But... If you, if you can't afford it, though, I definitely recommend getting them. Um, again, we would get them for our house. Just they're expensive, sadly. <laughs> um, I think, honestly, like... Like, honestly, we should really just be starting to convert the solar pa power, but, again, it's expensive, sadly. But, if you if you have the money to do it, then I recommend you do it. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have the money to do it, but, you know, if we did have the money to do it, though, we would do it. Yeah. And I kind of wish there were solar power, powered cars, too. It's just, or, like, some other, like, natural way. I mean, not just solar power, too. I mean, there's some other, again, hydrogen. Like, hydrogen's healthy. It's just, again, the only problem with hydrogen is, like, you know, it might, it, because hydrogen can probably make it rain. It's just, and rain's good. It's just, you don't want to be raining too much because you don't want flooding because that's not good either. But, yeah, again, just, um, picking off, up some litter off the ground. I mean, even that. Even, even just doing something simple like that can help. Or planting a tree. I mean, planting trees can help. Because um, I hate when I hear these people are like, oh, I don't like trees come down. It's like, why? I mean, unless the tree is dead or something, like, don't be cutting them down, you know? Once the tree is dead, don't be coming, cutting them down. So, you know... Or if, there's some, or, the, or if the tree's, like, really unhealthy. Like, I mean, if the tree's dead or really unhealthy, then, yeah, you gotta cut it down, because then it's gonna fall on your house, or some or someone else's house, or something like, or something like that. But, you know, if it's... But if the tree's perfectly fine, just leave it, you know? But, I mean, it's your yard. Just, I'm just saying, you know? I'm just saying. It's just... Again, we need to help, help the environment. Again, trees give us air. And again, we're cutting down more trees, and, like more homes for the animals are, like, am, am, animals aren't, like, um, am, <laughs> I'm trying to find my wording here, um, the animals, like, 
are losing their homes. It's so sad. So again, just try, try to help the environment again, just picking picking off up layer from the ground. Like that that can help, you know. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a happy Earth Day. Try to help the environment. Um, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye.